Basic Subtraction Level 1 Welcome everybody! I want to introduce you to our new friend, Rangu. You probably already know Byron. I can see you both are very excited. We're going to learn the concept of subtraction with your help. First, let's count the number of apples in this bowl. That's 1. That's 2. That's 3. That's 4. And that's 5. Myra, can you get me one apple? I'm going to keep this apple on the other bowl. Rangu, it's your turn now. Please get me one apple. I'm going to keep this apple also on the same bowl. Okay, Byra and Rangu, let's do the counting again. First, let's count the apples in the bowl over there. That's one, that's two, and that's three. Earlier, we had five apples, and now we have only three apples. Let's see how many apples we have on the other bowl. That's one, and that's two. We reduced two apples from that bowl and kept it on this bowl. When we reduce something, we call it a subtraction. We can say we subtracted two apples from the five apples. What we were left was three apples. We know we had five apples in the bowl at first. Then we subtracted two apples from that bowl and put it in the other bowl. For subtraction, we add a minus sign, something like this. So, now we have three apples left. When we subtract two from five, we get three. This works the same with candies too. In fact, whenever we subtract two from five or anything, we'll always get three. Let's take a look. That's five candies in total. Let's subtract two candies out of it. That's one candy. And that's the second candy. What we have left is one, two, and three candies. Okay, let's try this with ice creams. Take a look. That's five ice creams in total. Let's subtract two ice creams out of it. That's one ice cream. And that's the second ice cream. What we have left is one, two, and three ice creams. Now, let's see what happens when we have a total of seven ice creams and we subtract three ice creams from it. Take a look. That's seven ice creams in total. Let's subtract three ice creams out of it. That's one, two, and three ice creams. What we have left is one, two, three, and four ice creams. I know you're already thinking about the ice creams. Ice creams are real yummy, isn't it? Now, let's look at another yummy thing. A fruit, strawberry. Let's start with seven strawberries and subtract three strawberries out of them. Let's see what happens. That's seven strawberries in total. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. A total of seven strawberries. Let's subtract three strawberries out of it. That's one, two, and three strawberries. What we have left is one, two, three, and four strawberries. Basic Subtraction Level 2 Welcome everybody! We have our friends Byra and Rangu with us. Hi Byra! Hi Rangu! You guys are so nice and helpful. We learned the concept of basic subtraction with your help. We'll do more on that today. Byra and Rangu, I need your help again. Will you help me? We have a set of chocolate bars on the table. Patience, patience. I'm going to first see how many chocolate bars are there. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's ten. And that's eleven. We have eleven chocolate bars. I'm going to give five chocolate bars to Byra. That's one. 
that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. Okay, let's see how many are left on this side. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, and that's six. When we gave five chocolate bars to buy out of lemon, we have six chocolate bars left for Rangu. This is what we call a subtraction. We use a minus sign for subtraction. Here we say, when we subtract five from a total eleven, we get six remaining. Is where subtraction comes in. Let's do another one. This time, I'm going to split toy trays between Baira and Rangu. Let's see how many toy trains we have here on the table. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's ten, that's eleven, that's twelve, and that's thirteen. We have thirteen toy trains in total. I'm gonna give nine toy trains to Baira. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, and that's nine. Okay, let's see how many are left for Rangu. That's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. When we gave nine toy trains to buy out of thirteen, we have four toy trains left for Rangu. This is what we call a subtraction. Here we say, when we subtract nine from a total of thirteen, we get four remaining. Removing or reducing is called subtraction. Let's do another one. This time I'm going to split pencils between Baira and Rangu. Let's see how many pencils we have here on the table. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's ten, that's eleven, that's twelve, that's thirteen, and that's fourteen. We have a total of fourteen pencils. I'm gonna give six pencils to Baira. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, and that's six. Okay, let's see how many are left for Rangu. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, and that's eight. When we give six pencils to buy out of fourteen, we have eight pencils left for Rangu. By now you already know, that's what we call as subtraction. Here we say, when we subtract six from a total of fourteen, we get eight remaining. Yes, Removing or reducing is called subtraction. Let's do one last one. This time I'm going to split my favorite yummy fruit, strawberry, between Baira and Rangu. Let's see how many strawberries we have here on the table. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's ten, that's eleven, that's twelve, that's 13, that's 14, that's 15, that's 16, and that's 17. We have a total of 17 strawberries. I'm going to give 8 strawberries to Baira. That's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, that's 5, that's 6, that's 7, and that's 8. Okay, let's see how many are left for Rangu. That's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, and that's nine. When we give eight strawberries to buy out of seventeen, we have nine strawberries left for Rangu. And that's what we call a subtraction. Here we say, when we subtract eight from a total of seventeen, we get nine remaining. Yes, removing or reducing is called subtraction. I hope you all liked it and you also learned how subtraction works. Thank you, Baira and Rangu. You were very helpful today. See you soon.